All right, I am uh, starting a, a long box for a customer here. I'm going to be using a, a piece of rainbow poplar. You can see all the colors in this thing. You want to uh, watch which way the grain runs in this when you make one of these coals. And I have a jig here that I made for my my style call, and it seems to be a a pretty nice sounding box. So I stay with my pattern. It makes it easy when I mark everything. These marks are for the uh, center cutout for my sound chamber. That there is my center point. That is going to be the depth that I actually cut out in the center of the box here. start bringing this down to the center.
Alrighty. That's what she looks like when you gut her out with a fastener. Then I always just grab a line here. You can you can uh, scrape this the whole way. I, I found it a little bit easier just to take a router and, and, and actually cut some of it out first. You want to be careful when you're doing it with a router when you first take that first uh, area off of this call because if you uh, mess up and that router jumps and you hit that upper side, you just ruin the call. You got the start of it now a lot of this here i'll start gutting this out i i actually make special scrapers and i'll actually get in here and i'll scrape that until i get it down to where i need it and then i'll start testing the sound once i shape this a little bit more running the wood these velcro straps hold it in place good enough that you can rasp this thing. As you can see, I'm rasping it down to the line here. All right. Now pull this off and switch it to the other side. And I'll rasp this side down. Closer and closer here. Now I'll start doing a little hand work here, and I'll start. I'll start shaving. <sighs> Every once in a while, you have to sharpen your your cutters. Thank <laughs> you. 
try to get all the Fostner bit marks out inside your sound chamber here. You try to make them as clean looking as possible. slow process here but you don't want to take too much off because once you go too far then your call is not going to work right and you'll have to you'll have to figure out all your dimensions and stuff on on uh the sound that you want on your calls everybody has just a little bit different process on making them and, 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 and they all try for that perfect turkey sound not all woods will cooperate I mean you can get 100% done and then try your <laughs> lid for sound Sometimes you have a dead call. Sometimes you have a call that has a high pitch squeal. Uh, you, rot, you definitely rely on the wood. I've made a lot of calls and a lot of good ones, but I, I made a lot that actually went into the burn pile. So if they didn't sound good, I, I'm not selling them. <coughs> I do a lot of donations with my calls, helping kids with cancer and, 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 and fellow friends that have health issues. But that's what you do right here, and you just keep shaping until you get down that right dimension. I actually make a jig that I sit in there and when I get down to the right thickness on my sidewalls just a little bit past those two lines there I know my call is going to be right where it needs to be and then I start fine tuning alright we're going to turn off for a little bit stay tuned for class number three as you can see, I got this gutted out pretty nicely. I am pretty close to where I need to be. Uh, I will do the fine tuning here shortly. At this point, we're done with the jig here on, on shaping the inside. Now, mark the thickness of my handle. Get a table saw here and we'll cut this out. I gotta take that blade up to the height of the line, just a hair shy. Take this over here to the miter saw and we're going to cut this block off here for the handle. And there you go. Take the chisel and we'll cut this, cut this little section off here and make it clean. over chisel this because then you gotta a divot the other way that you gotta get out all right 
our next process is we're gonna cut the radius for the soundboards. We use a sander, belt sander for that. Take that down just above the line. One is a nice even rock. If you feel a flat spot, you want to take that out. You want them level, both sides the same height. All right, that's nice and smooth. see we got a pretty nice radius there I'll actually uh, score a line on here again for the soundboard because you're gonna have to shave this down a little bit yet we're almost there but as you can see there's spots here we're going to shave that down and this will be about the last that you have to do with the inside here just clean it up a little bit testing make sure you're going to be down in far enough time you put in this and and go slow and easy the better the sound of the call is going to be so you want to take your time especially if you're using a nice piece of wood yeah, some of this wood gets pretty expensive this wood here came from uh, Virginia middle stain or rainbow poplar it's pretty expensive to get if you go to a sawmill or a wood shop or a wood place but it makes a great sounding call normally on a long box or even a short cost style box you want to use a softer 
less dense wood for the box and a harder wood for the lid. Getting close. Like I said, this is a, a timely process. You don't want to take too much off too quick because you can't put it back on. stop on that side as you can see I already got the shape of the handle cut out or drawn out I'll cut that on the bandsaw now See, I left some of the line on there just as for sanding purposes. Take that over the belt sander. I'll strike a line on each side of this uh, paddle and that's where I'll be uh, actually sanding my radius too. They make a uh, double sticky back tape. This stuff is unbelievable. You just stick that on your paddle like so. Then get you a nice block of wood and stick right on top of that paddle. It's actually a handle. Then I go to my sander. Sometimes I'll rasp that off. And I'll sand that. Tell you 
what. Let's uh, let's go over here and make it a little quicker here. I can take some of that wood off of it. It just makes it a little quicker. Do this all by eye. Take a little bit of a measurement here just to see where we're at. We're pretty close, but we can take just a little bit more off. good now I'll come over and put a little fine hand sand on here all around and I'll pop this off remember get yourself some of that double sticky back tape stuff is absolutely amazing and holds all right I'll do a little test here just to see if it sounds okay by holding it well it's a little throaty so I'll probably take this side walls down a little bit on the on the box itself but we're gonna put a couple marks on here center that and we'll set our paddle in here and actually get a mark here for where we're going to drill down for our screw hole <coughs> we will center this I always use a punch to get my hole started I drill with a real small bit to go through and try to try to keep that as straight as possible. You don't want it to go off at no angle. Alright. Then I'll use a countersink. I'll actually mark Mark both sides here. That way I know my counter is going in straight. Nice and straight. Alrighty. 
Next I'll lay my paddle on the box and I will center point this. My screw hole here. Very important to stay straight on these holes because that can make your paddle go off to one side and play wrong. All right, now get me one of my stainless steel screws that's what I use I mean you can use different type screws everybody has their preference this way it don't rust if your call gets wet now we'll do a little sample play all right I can tell that that side walls are a little too high just by the sound a little chalk on there. All righty. I'll pull that back off. I'll get my gauge here and I will mark this again. I knew I was a little high from the start, just just when I did this, but, but that's okay. Better have better having more than not enough. So all right, we'll go back to the sander. shape in here just to bring that dimension down. Both sides.
sounds coming around now. I'll take the paddle down just a little bit yet. <laughs> A little bit more off the side walls. Take the paddle over here. Take the miter saw. And I'll cut 45s on the paddle. And I'll sand it. about done make sure you take all your pencil marks off they don't look too good okay I'm back and here is the finished product this is a long box I can still do a little tuning on this. And I'm going to take take uh, the finish off the soundboard here and see if that makes a difference. There you have it.